Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be letting you guys know about another new addition that Rockstar Games will be adding to the game for Halloween that you're not going to see any other GTA YouTuber talking about. However, not only that, I'm also going to be showing you guys so you can unlock some very creepy Halloween themed rare t-shirts as well as an extremely rare mask in the game. So as always, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so a lot of you guys are probably scratching your head and thinking, what else could Rockstar Games add to the game for Halloween that I've not spoken about or or no other GTA YouTuber has given you guys the heads up on and that is a Halloween themed arcade machine. Of course, as I'm sure the majority of you guys are aware, we can own an arcade business in GTA 5 Online and purchase different arcade machines. Now, a couple years ago, in October 2021, Rockstar Games went ahead and released a limited time arcade machine known as Camheads. Now, this arcade minigame is a two-player game, so you can get one of your friends to team up with you. I will show you guys what this machine is about and all of the core cool rewards you can get by playing it. And like I said, it was originally released for Halloween in 2021. So, of course, we are in 2023. And with Rockstar Games only releasing this Halloween arcade machine two years ago, I know a lot of people don't even know about it or maybe forgotten about it. So of course, whilst most people know about rare cars or rare clothing items in the game, not many people knew that you could get a rare arcade machine that could only be purchased during one week of Halloween a couple years ago. Now luckily, I went ahead and already purchased this arcade machine so I can show you guys what it is all about, like I said, and the rewards you guys will be receiving for playing it. Now, for you guys just like myself that are big fans of Rockstar Games in general and not just GTA 5, you will know that Rockstar Games released a game way back in the day known as Manhunt. And this was actually a very gory and scary game considering it did come from Rockstar Games. And I do remember actually being banned in certain countries. I believe it was banned in the United Kingdom for a little while, Australia and a bunch more. However, you guys that did play that game, you will notice that a lot of the artwork is featuring Manhunt characters. Not only the characters, but the scenarios, the weapons are all from the game Manhunt, which like I said, was a very gory and scary game from Rockstar Games. Now, another interesting fact with this arcade machine, the title of it, of course, being Camheads, and it's actually named after a cut hunger gang originally meant to appear in Manhunt which, like I said, was released all the way back in the day in 2003. So it really does go to show Rockstar Games are always throwing in Easter eggs or things relating to previous GTA or Rockstar Games. Now, there is a bunch of exclusive rare rewards that you guys can unlock by going ahead and playing this game and completing certain challenges. Now, the Camheads arcade machine will consist of five maps, you have one map where you gotta take out the hoods and this takes place on the city slums. The other map, you've gotta go ahead and take out the innocents and this takes place on a scrapyard. Another map, you guys will have to go ahead and take out the guards and this takes place on an asylum. And the fourth map, you guys will have to go ahead and take out some clowns. And of course, this is over at a theme park. Now the fifth and final map where you guys have gotta take out the big boss known as Bearsy. This will take place in a slaughterhouse. Now, of course, I'm not sure if I've even mentioned it, but it should be pretty obvious on screen. It is a shooter game where you guys have just got to move and aim on and take out moving targets. Now, there's only two buttons you got to take note of, one being shoot and the other one being reload. 
Now there is a good chance if you guys don't own this arcade machine that Rockstar Games will be adding it back for this Halloween. So if you guys do go ahead and purchase it and you do want to unlock some of these rewards, which I will be showing you guys in a second, I know for a fact you probably are going to struggle on the final boss as it doesn't actually explain to you guys what you have to do. So when he's standing directly in front of you, don't shoot him as the bullets are going to be reflecting and hitting you guys back. I've seen a lot of people making this mistake when playing this arcade machine. What you want to do is just wait until he flashes green and then you guys can go ahead and shoot him. Now, when he's running across the screen and throwing meat at you guys, you can also shoot the meat so it doesn't hit you and also shoot him at the same time. Now, if you guys are going for the rewards, which I will show you guys in just a second, you do have to complete challenges and one of those challenges are to maintain a certain accuracy. So if you are going for that challenge, just wait for him to appear right in front of you, then shoot him rather than wasting your bullets trying to shoot him when he's running across the screen throwing meat at you guys. Now, as far as what these rewards are, you've got the Faces of Death Award, where you guys have to carry out over 65 headshots across all scenes in cam heads, and this will be unlocking the Faces of Death T. As you guys can see on screen, an awesome looking red t-shirt with all of the horror Halloween themed characters on it. So like I said, a great t-shirt to unlock over Halloween. However, the next award is called the Director and all you guys have to do is complete all levels using only the pistol in cam heads, which once again is very easy. All you have to do is avoid shooting the throwing weapons, which do include the nail bomb and the Molotov. And for completing this award, you guys will be unlocking this awesome looking black cam heads t-shirt. Now the next award is called Monkey See, Monkey Do. And to complete this one, all you have to do is kill all costume weirdos across all scenes in cam heads. So very, very easy to kill all of the costume weirdos. They are the random characters that are going to run across the map. You might think they're civilians and if you shoot them, you're going to lose points. That is not the case. In typical Rockstar Games fashion, they are just known as the weirdos. And by completing this award, you guys will be unlocking this funny monkey see, monkey die t-shirt where you can just see a monkey getting chased by a rat. So very random indeed. However, the next award is called Trained to Kill. And in order to complete this award, all you have to do is get an average of 60 accuracy across all scenes in cam heads. So like I said, just pick your shots very, very wisely if you are going for this award. And for completing this challenge, you guys will be unlocking this trained to kill t-shirt, which once again has a very cool looking graphic on it and is a pink t-shirt. Now the next award is kind of messed up here because Rockstar Games give you the same reward for completing the same challenge. So for this challenge, it's also called the director and you guys have to get a five star rating on each of the scenes in cam heads and this will be unlocking the director t which is the exact same t-shirt you guys will be unlocking for completing all levels using only the pistol now once you guys complete all five of these challenges you will be finally unlocking this mask on screen known as bearsy and of course this is the mask based off the final character in the cam heads arcade machine so it's definitely a great mask to go ahead and use on the telescope glitch because not many people have this mask if any really because not many people own this arcade machine so if you guys are able to go ahead and unlock this you really can make a crazy and rare looking halloween outfit and if you guys would like to see me put together some halloween outfits in the next few days do be sure to let me know down below in the comment section and drop a like on this video and if this video does reach over 1000 likes i'll definitely post a halloween outfits guide tomorrow however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks all for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace